If there was any game um, featured in this year's E3 lineup that would make me, and to quote my fiance Barry Barfly, um, have a complete game orgasm, it was <laughs> this game. Um, even more so, apparently, than Fallout 4. Um, obviously, I was so, 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 so very excited for Fallout. But Deus Ex was definitely something that I was uh, excited about and I was looking forward to. And, you know, I when it was announced not that long ago, I got ridiculously excited over it because I absolutely adored the previous game, um, Human Revolution. But when we sat down to watch the Square Enix uh, conference the other day, um, Deus Ex came on and, yeah, I... I I may have squeed quite a lot. The squeeze may have been so loud they were they were vocal in 2029 or whatever, whenever this game is set. Um, yeah, Deus Ex, <laughs> squeeze. Very, 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 very excited for this game. Um, if you didn't play uh, Human Revolution, I recommend that you get that game and you play it before this game comes out because it was one hell of an experience um it's it, it is essentially a shooter um that takes a lot of connotations from the metal gear solid series um i i know people who say that it's the spiritual successor to metal gear um and when it very first came out i must admit that i was one of these people who was not expecting to enjoy it at all but i started playing it i i don't know whether i got it for free on xbox live or i bought it myself i, I can't remember but i started playing it and i was like holy crap this game is awesome it's as i said it takes it takes a lot of cues from metal gear um human revolution gave me a lot of mass effect 2 feels as well in the color scheme the, the sort of gold and black color scheme um and yeah, I, I thoroughly enjoyed the crap out of it. But we are not here to talk about human revolution. We are here to talk, talk about Mankind Divided, which is a direct sequel. It's set about two years after the previous game. Um, I'm not going to go into too much details and give any spoilers in case you haven't, you know, played or, or seen Human Revolution. Um, but... It seems like Mankind Divided um, it is definitely dealing with the fallout from that game. Um, there, there is a lot more distrust between humans and augmented uh, people. Um, so much of this to the point where they are completely segregated and there's a lot, a lot of tension. Um, and Jensen is, is essentially in a position to where he has to bridge the gap and try to stop um terrorist attacks going, you know, going one way or another and get to the bottom of the the deeper mystery that's running through the games again i'm not going to give any spoilers if you you've played the games you know what i'm talking about um but yeah uh, mankind divide from what i see it looks it looks in incredible it looks absolutely beautiful um they've capitalized on how good the previous game was and just and just made it better um you haven't changed too much jensen has better augments better um equipment in able to to do his job um essentially and yeah it just it looks as good as the previous game only better you know uh, which is which is what you expect from or you know you hope for when it comes to a sequel like a direct sequel in a franchise such as this so if you enjoyed human revolution i am quite certain that you're going to enjoy this game um i i just hope that it is good and is as, as immersive um the story in human revolution was so good that it it, it drew me in um so even though it was a game that I didn't think that I was going to enjoy, you know, it drew me in. And I said before that it's it's essentially a shooter, which is true. 
but there's a lot of stealth elements to it as well. I mean, you if you're not necessarily a big shooter fan, um, like I'm not, um, it's still accessible to you. You can still play it. Um, you just sort of take the more stealth option. There is, you know, there's plenty of ways to to get about the world, and they've they've said that well, they've confirmed that it's going to be pretty much exactly the same in Mankind Divided, in that, you know, you can get through the whole game without killing anyone. You know, you could go balls to the wall with, you know, go and shoot pew 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 pew, or you can go through the whole game without killing anyone, um, which is incredible. I and mean, you could do that in Human Revolution. Um, one thing they kind of messed up in terms of that was the boss fights, which they fixed for the director's cut. Um, so then you, you could get through essentially the whole game without killing anyone, without drawing a gun or a weapon, you know, essentially at all. Um, which is, is, is what I like. I mean, you, you know me, I, I prefer, I like stealth games. I like being sneaky sneaky in games. Um, so yeah, and th- there's a certain morality compass to the games as well. It's not exactly black and white as as some games are you know choose the red option if you want to be the bad guy choose the blue option if you want to be the good guy it's it's a little bit more subtle than that you know in terms of of your actions in terms of the things that jensen does the way he interacts with people you know um whether he uses the the abilities that he's got um for good or not so good you know how he approaches things does he take the more diplomatic approach does he just go in and kill everyone in the room you know all those options are available to you so yeah from what i hear and what i understand mankind divided is is essentially more of the same thing and i'm really really looking forward to where they go with the story um Jensen, I think, is an awesome character. Uh, There's been quite a bit of criticism I've heard about Jensen being quite bland, but I think he was fantastic, and and I love his voice actor. His voice actor is phenomenal. He's one of my favourite voice actors in gaming and on TV and stuff like that. So, yes, I am big thumbs up for this game. I am pushing it i am shipping it i am telling you that this is a game that you need to have on your radar and if you haven't played human revolution you need to go and play that i'm sure it's very cheap on xbox or playstation at the moment i've got it on the xbox and i have it on steam i have the original version on the xbox and i have the director's cut on steam and both of them phenomenal awesome games can't wait for this one can't wait to play with Jensen again and see where the story goes um, and find out just exactly what happens after the end of uh, the previous game and how that plays out and whether certain choices you might have been able to make in the previous game will count or cross over. Interesting, we will see. I, uh, I am definitely, definitely going to be getting this game and... Um, Along with this game and a few of the games that I have shown from E3 um, or have talked about in E3, people have asked me, oh, are you going to do, you know, for example, with Day says, oh, are you going to do Human Revolution? Are you going to put it on your channel if you say you enjoy it so much? I would love to. I hope so. I'm not going to make any promises. Um, I would like to, by the time that, you know, Mankind Divided or the new games come out, I would like to have done the previous games on my channel which at the moment it seems like a really big feat because there's a hell of a lot of awesome games coming out and a hell of a lot of awesome games to to play to reach the point where I want to show off the new games you know pretty much as soon as they come out so bear with me and I will try my very very best to get them to you but I know that um, I know that Jensen does have a little bit of love um, amongst my viewers uh, so yeah, I will I will see what I can do because these games are awesome games and they deserve to be showcased. So yes, Deus Ex Mankind Divided. Uh, yeah, definitely, definitely uh, worth a watch.